real busy with Dr. Fred Singer this morning. He is a noted atmospheric phys physicist. He's also one of the world's chief skeptics of global warming and here this morning to tell us why. Good morning to you. And you're also the founder of? The Weather Satellite Service for the U.S. government. All right. So I was the first director. First director. So I know something about satellites and about observing the atmosphere from space. And you feel like a lot of this global warming is simply hogwash. Uh, well, let me put it this way. The real issue is not global warming. The real issue is what is the cause of the warming. And we have to decide whether it's mostly natural or mostly human caused. And obviously natural, there's nothing, there's not there's much we can do about each, it. you know, mm -hmm. and we have to find out which is the important one. Well, of course, the, 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 the one side, the, the argument on, on uh, global warming is the carbon dioxide levels and how much they're going up yeah, and, and how man-made it, it is. The, the CO2 is certainly man-made, mm -hmm. yes. So it's plausible that uh, humans could be affecting the climate. And you just have to look at the data. That's what we do. Now, the satellites don't show any warming. Satellites don't show warming. No, they don't show the warming. What Only the, the polar, surface stations. What do. about the polar caps that are melting that people keep bringing that's up? A, that's a detail. We're not concerned. We're mostly concerned about the tropics because mm -hmm. that's where all the weather comes from. Uh, what's happened at the North Pole is of a little consequence to the to the globe itself. Well, so last night you 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 had, make your presentation before San Diego State crowd. I had all these students here. Yeah. Just explain to our viewers then. Give us our your best case your best argument why we're concerned over something we shouldn't be concerned over, global warming. Well, it's because we don't see the evidence for uh, human-caused global warming. It should be there because carbon dioxide is increasing. It should be there, according to the theory. Mm -hmm. But the atmosphere is really complicated, and, you know, the theory doesn't take into account all the things that happen in the atmosphere, like the clouds. They, the models don't cover the clouds. The clouds are really important. Anyway... The satellites don't show the warming. Mm -hmm. Oceans don't show the warming. Only the land stations, the weather stations, show some warming. And that's probably all local warming due to urban uh, effects, you know, population growth and so on. In the 90s, particularly in the 90s, when this became a very po uh, popular idea, some of the greatest minds on the planet were behind this. Why do you feel like they're wrong? Well, well, the greatest was... minds aren't always, aren't always right. <laughs> yeah, one of the greatest minds is Al Gore. Uh, the great mind of Al Gore, they gave him a Nobel Prize for peace, not for science. That's very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he wasn't the only one. There were lots of scientists. Yeah, there are, lot, there are really lots of scientists, and we're having real scientific debates. I'll spend the day, most of the day today at Scripps, uh, well, most of the people don't agree with me, mm -hmm. and we'll have some good discussions. All of that's being done, all of the solar power, all the alternative energies that we're spending billions and billions and billions of dollars on, are we wasting that money? Yes. It's a complete waste, absolutely useless. It's not going to help us a bit. The thing to do is to build more conventional power plants, nuclear power plants as well, but also coal-fired power plants, and in fact, uh, California depends on coal-fired power plants somewhere out in Arizona and Utah. How long do you think it will be before, in your estimation and in your mind, people will go, he was right? Is it next year? Is it 20 years? Is it 50 years down the line? I think people are going to be affected not by science, but by, by how much electricity will cost. The price of energy is going to go up mm -hmm. and up and up. As Obama said, in his uh, campaign in 2008, the price of electricity will skyrocket. And it's already, he's promised that. Uh -huh. and, and he's delivering on his promise. The price of electricity has been going up, it'll keep going up. And people will have to decide whether they want to turn on the air conditioning in the summer or whether they'd rather eat. You know, it's a big mm -hmm. choice. Right. If you have a limited amount of money, you can't do both. Dr. Fred Singer, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. And good luck with your discussions to be here. later today as well. All right.